This is the dial, model 2040, 10 inch magnum bore, hollow spindle lathe. For short, we just call it the 10 inch tube master. It is designed for cutting, facing, and chamfering the ends of tubing so that a good weld can be obtained. For machining out wells for retubing or custom drive shaft manufacturing, it's unsurpassed. With its 40 inch bed and tail stock, it can be used for a myriad of additional machining tasks. With its large bore and compact overall size, its versatility is unmatched. To demonstrate the Tube Master's versatility, this technician is preparing to remove the weld yoke and stub to reuse them in fabricating a custom drive shaft for the customer. The lay speed of the Tube Master ranges from 0 to 400 RPM. The ideal speed for machining out the weld is 100 RPM. Note that the left and right movement of the cutting tool is called the Z-axis, and the forward and backward movement of the cutting tool is called the X-axis. When cutting into the weld, you will note that the cut is deepest towards the oak end. Continue machining very carefully until you have reached the thickness of the tube wall, or that you see the brown rust line at the bottom of the cut. Keep in mind that you won't always see this brown line. This is extremely important if you will be using the dial hydraulic yoke and stub puller. You can remove all guesswork and dramatically increase the accuracy of your work by installing an optional digital readout, or better known as a DRO. Now that we have prepared the weld yoke for removal, it's time to remove the drive shaft and repeat the operation on the stub end. On shorter shafts, you may simply want to pull the shaft out and flip it around and pass the yoke through the chuck. You can do this on a dial lathe because the magnum bore units will easily pass an RPL or SPL weld yoke. Whenever you pass the stub through the bore and into the chuck, remember to always protect the glide coat.